For this project, I would like for you to use Snagit, which is available in a free 30-day fully functional trial from the TechSmith website. As you can see, it is available both in Mac and Windows format. So if you would, please download that. And if you like it, I'm sure Dan would probably pay you for it. And it is a cheap program. The next thing we want to do is to capture our video thumbnail. So open up the video that you wish to work with. Go ahead and start the video and play it to a thumbnail that you think best represents that video or provides some kind of interest for the student. We'll go ahead and stop it here. Now, the next step, open up your Snagit program and click on the big red capture button down in the bottom right. Clicking on that will give you your crosshairs and you simply uh, left click and drag across the thumbnail that you want to grab. After you release the click, Snagit automatically opens up the editor and you will see your thumbnail in the editor. Go ahead and use the sizing tools to crop off any excess that you picked up on your snag. And then after you've got that cleaned up, you want to go up to resize. And we're going to make all of our thumbnails the same width. The, um, the height might vary a little bit, but we're going to click on scale to specific size and keep in smooth scaling and keep aspect ratio. We change width to 150 and the height will take care of itself. We, cl we click on close and there is our thumbnail ready to save. We go up to the save icon at the top of the toolbar, click and we do want to save these as JPEGs. That will give us the lowest byte size, the lowest file size for these images. Name your thumbnail appropriately, click on save and it will save it to uh, wherever you um, have set as your default path there for saving. Okay, now we're going to open up our Word document. The first thing we want to do in our Word document is to prepare it. Uh, it's probably a good idea to go ahead and use the Enter key to create line spaces, hard breaks, hard spaces in your Microsoft Word document. The next thing we want to do is to create a new drawing canvas. So let's go up to Insert, click on Shapes, and then at the bottom of the Shapes toolbar we click on New Drawing Canvas. Now you can resize this canvas uh, to whatever size you want it, big or small, as long as it's big enough to get your thumbnail in, that's fine. And you can also move it around to wherever you want it. The next thing we want to do is to insert that thumbnail. So we click on insert and then we go to our desktop or wherever and we pick up the thumbnail that we saved. And that's going to insert it in the middle of the drawing canvas. And there it is. The next thing we want to do is to draw our banner text box. So we go to insert, text box, draw text box, and then we're going to draw our text box across there. Now again, if you're as old as I am, you want to increase your view so you can uh, get your old eyeballs to line things up. That looks pretty good. Looks like that is uh, meeting the edge is pretty good. Okay, let's format our text box by uh, clicking on the dialog launcher arrow on the size menu. Click on text box. Now what we want to do is to change all of our internal margins to zero to give us the maximum amount of room to work with because we are working in a small space. Click OK. Next thing we want to go do is go to the Home tab and click on Center Align and then go to the Line Spacing tool and click on 1 since the default is 1.15. I'd say probably the font best to use I think is going to be Calibri. It's small but clean so go ahead and type in and a title for the video and then use your text sizing tool to fill up that uh, space a little bit. Hold down the shift key and hit enter to create a new line in your text box and then all of these banners must have control plus click in them to tell the students how to open them. 
will highlight that's touching the bottom a little bit so I'm gonna make it a little bit smaller so it comes off the bottom there we go okay then go to the format tool now we're going to fill it pick out a color that you think fits with the thumbnail best here I chose the kind of uh, reddish burgundy uh, garnet color next thing you want to do is go to more fill colors again and this time set the transparency to about 40 click OK and then uh, that way we are showing more of the video thumbnail and then we highlight our text and choose whatever text color you think best contrast white yellow would have been a good choice too maybe you've picked up that kind of neon yellow that is in the APA title on that manual I'm going to boldface the title there give it a little bit more visibility now we want uh, to go to format shape outline remove that outline blend that banner in let's move our banner down to like the bottom third there you go show more of our thumbnail and now that looks good our next task is to group these things so uh, we uh, select first the text box and while holding down the control key we also select our image now you see all of the sizing tools highlighted that means both are selected we go up to our format tools it doesn't matter which one you do uh, both have the same tools we click on group and then pull down to the group function and you see all of those sizing tools turn into one that means it is grouped as a single object now let's bring down our view what you want to do now is to click on your object that you've drawn that you've created slide it outside of the drawing canvas it's now free of the drawing canvas and you can either delete that drawing canvas or move it out of the way so you're now free to move your object around it is uh, the text box and the thumbnail are now grouped together as objects make sure that now you select the thumbnail and the text box then go to insert hyperlink insert the hyperlink on your target frame I always set it as new window that's kind of the standard default click on default and click OK and we have inserted the hyperlink uh, on one of those uh, elements move it where you want it let's test that hyperlink by moving the cursor up on it holding holding down the control looks like the hyperlink is only on the text box okay no problem let's now uh, click on the um, uh, on the image and let's go ahead and insert that same hyperlink on the image go up to hyperlink insert put in that same hi hyperlink and now we should have the hyperlink yep on the thumbnail and on the banner next thing we want to do is to uh, go to format object and let's give it a tight layout click OK this has to do with text wrapping we'll put in some practice text here let's move our thumbnail down into the practice text make sure it's wrapping good okay it's wrapping fine fantastic okay everything looks good uh, we'll go ahead and move our thumbnail back up to where it was and delete that text and uh, we've got a workable thumbnail here and go ahead and repeat that process 15 more times and uh, you will be in great shape